All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a uh, Rolle's theorem example here. So it says verify Rolle's theorem and find the value or values of C that satisfy it for the following function on the given interval. So we're given this function. Um, once again, this function is a polynomial, so it's quadratic, okay, which means it's automatically going to be continuous and it's going to be differentiable on this interval. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to show that f of a is equal to f of b because there's three conditions. So first it's differentiable on, or continuous on the interval, it's differentiable on the interval, and f of a has to equal f of b. So let's make sure that that holds true here first. So f of negative 4 would be 2 times negative 4 squared plus 7 times negative 4 minus 4. Okay, negative 4 squared is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 minus 28 minus 4. Oh, interesting. Uh, that's just going to be 0 here. And then if we did f of 1 half, okay, so that would be 2 times 1 half squared plus 7 times 1 half minus 4. Well, 1 half squared is 1 fourth, so this would be 2 times 1 fourth, which is just a half, okay, um, plus 7 halves minus 4. 1 half plus 7 halves is 8 halves. 8 halves is 4, and 4 minus 4 is just 0. So f of a um, does equal f of b here. So with that said, then there has to be some value of c that's in this interval where the derivative is equal to 0. Well, let's show where that is, or let's find where that is. So let's go ahead and take the derivative. So if I take the derivative of this, we get f prime of x is equal to 4x plus 7, okay, which means then we want to see where that equals 0, 4x plus 7. I would simply minus off 7, whoops, uh, minus off 7, minus off 7, and we get negative 7 is equal to 4x, and then simply divide by 4. So we get x is negative 7 over 4, which surely is in that interval. So that would be my x value, which we know is the same thing as our c value here. So c would be negative 7 over 4. And that's where our uh, slope is going to be 0, or our derivative is going to be equal to 0.